We've talked about the data types for string and integer. Now let's add in float and the type function so that we can understand what type we are working with. So the decimal in this literal number here, 3.14, makes this a float data type. It's a floating decimal point and so any number with a decimal it could have just all decimal is a float versus the counting numbers are going to be the integer types. Now, what I did here is I put those into the type function and it returns the type of the variable. Right here it is just echoing it to the screen and we could also just print that as well. When we print it we get a little bit more information and it says it's a class integer right there and if I add a decimal then I get class float. The type also will work for strings as we show below here and it can also display in a variable. So if we assign student Colette in here we should throw it a string but we can change that to the number again. Student number in quotes. It's gonna be a string. Without quotes it's an integer. If it's the name it's gonna be a string again. So we learned about a new type, the float, which is floating decimal point. And that's any number with a decimal within it, a fractional number. We also learned that the type function can help us return the type of a different variable or a literal type. And here you can find a bunch of exercises to practice a bin this type function. So you have to identify data types by assigning values to the variable bucket and using type function. You have to show the type after assigning bucket a whole number, display the type of 12, minus 12 and so on. So have fun and practice with it with the help of these exercises.